Uh, Purdue played great tonight. It was a heavyweight fight, and uh, it's almost you know it's it's almost too bad somebody had to lose that one. And uh, but they get, they gave a great effort tonight. I was very very impressed with Eva and Chloe, and they put on a show tonight. And I, I still don't know quite how we won it, but we're gonna take it. to do for this team, fourth and fifth sets? I mean, okay. Well, she finally, yeah, she she got some big kills, and she was struggling early and and uh, struggling blocking, struggling serving, but she showed why she's a first-team All-American. And she made some huge plays for us there. You know, that last kill was a great kill, and um, but that's what you expect from your first-teamers. 15, 14 there down. I think he went back to a rotation early to get that back row, and she put down the kill there. What wasn't a bad decision? Um, well, we've been working on it, preparing for the, for this match because we knew it would be a tight match, and we're just trying to find some more kills. And what they were doing is they were trapping Andy with two blockers, letting our left sides go one on one, and those guys were struggling tonight. And so it let there was an open lane down the middle, and and we we probably hit for a huge number on our back row attack tonight, and. Uh, and again, we worked hard on it this week because we knew we were going to need it tonight. She coined, is it her speed or is it her shots or what, what, what got to? You know, she's, I mean, she has got to be the best match she's played all year. I mean, she's only hitting like weight, yeah, down in the Big Ten. So she, I mean, she played great tonight. It's, she's got every shot in the book. She hits on the way down. She was throwing it in our block. She was tipping great. And, um, you know, we just – we became very undisciplined in our in our block and our defense in defending her. But we did get her at the end. And um, we got a couple touches on her. After you guys went down 2-1, to one, what was said in the huddle to kind of rally the team and – Get him back in it to pull out those last two. Uh, we just said, hey, we're going to get it to five, so let's win this game. And uh, what I just talked about, let's be more disciplined. We've got to thump our serves. Harper, they're serving you every ball, so let's start passing it and um, find a way to win this game because we're going to go to five tonight. So that was the mindset. Harper had 50 or 90 receptions. I mean, what? What, what, did she, what was she doing well out there? Well, she started off passing great, and then she kind of let up a little bit in games three and four. I just thought, yeah, she she just – it wasn't like they were serving that tough. And then, then she started passing well toward the end. But she's got to learn to – if they're going to serve her every ball, hey, make them pay. So it was, it was a good good experience for her, and it was good to see her finally turn it up there she had a great kill. I mean, that was an epic kill in game five on that out-of-system ball to save us. Harper, Harper has magic moments. I, I want her to do the magic moments for, you know, three hours. <laughs> so. Purdue, I think, statistically, they played a better match than you, but the one point was 19 service errors. How big was that to kind of change in the match? Well, that, that was a good balance. We also had 31 attack errors. I mean, when was the last time we had 31 attack errors? I mean, we've been so low error this year. And, um, again, I don't, I, don't, I don't know. We just were out of sync all night. And I, I don't know why. Uh, maybe this is a big buildup, but we just were, we were just out of sync. We never got in a rhythm at all. And we... Uh, um, yeah, it was hard. We, we, we couldn't get any runs on them, and yeah, we just we were just it just felt out of sync. Very frustrating. I haven't felt that way literally since SMU. How important is your team experiencing these five set thrillers as you continue uh, through Big Ten play and before the NCAA tournament? Well, it, it's great for us, and maybe that's part of the problem is we weren't you know rolling them three zero, so we get frustrated or start pressing a little bit because we've been kind of doing that for the last month seems like so I don't know if that was it that we just couldn't get momentum going and then we got frustrated and started pressing too much but yeah these are great because this, this is going to be several more of these down down the stretch here it's just uh, 
yeah, those are, but it's tough on a coach to go through those, to be honest with you. When did you know that Andy was good to go? Um, she, just how she felt yesterday and today. I mean, she trained, uh, what is today, Friday? She trained uh, Tuesday and Wednesday and did well. And then yesterday we went light, but she was feeling good and she felt great today. So the question will be is how is she tomorrow? What, we've seen what she could do, but what did she add tonight as far as the attack? Yeah, she was, at times she was unstoppable. And then I think she got, started getting fatigued out a little bit. Um, uh, but her, her blocking's got to get better. So that's part of the problem. She just, again, when you haven't played in two weeks, it's, yeah, her blocking showed tonight. She had, she, she missed a lot of opportunities. But she'll, she'll get better from that. It's just blocking's the hardest thing when you're, you're not, you haven't been in there for a while. You spoke earlier this week about how blocking is hardest thing to in the ring. About that. Raven Colvin finished with 11 blocks in this match. What was she doing that made it so difficult to get around her? Nothing. She was closing the block, and we were hitting into her. I mean, it's she's great at it. Going to our to the what we call the go zone, which is our left sides. We worked on, we practiced all week not hitting into her, and we just made some very poor decisions hitting into her because she's really good at closing the block. She's not very good at going uh, as good as going to behind the setter, and that was our game plan tonight was to try to run as much as we could back there, but. Um, um, but you know, she didn't have a great night offensively tonight. So part of it was, yeah, we did a good job on her. And, and uh, but I don't know. They hit 311 and we won. That shouldn't happen. But it's a funny game. It's a funny game. Final questions? Imagine there's still frustration with that outside hitter one position. Both Taylor and Lindsay didn't seem to really take, seize the opportunity to. I mean, what? What do you want from them? To Somebody to step up and show that they want it. And, I, you know, Lindsey was a little tentative tonight. Taylor was tentative. And then Taylor did get a couple kills in game four. And I don't remember if she got one in game five. She got one in game five behind. Yeah. So, uh, you know, but you, know, you look at the combination. Taylor had six. Lindsey had ten kills. Okay. They're not even carrying, you know, Eva had 26. So, I mean, we got to get more production from that spot. Thank you. Okay. Thanks, guys.